Hey there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about the sidebars because this is a kind of concept that everybody wants in their HTML web page actually even I, I did want it so hard when I was starting out in HTML and I had to throw in a lots of CSS and a lots of JavaScript to go ahead and achieve that thing but with the help of semantic UI the process gets way more easier than it has ever been so you know uh, you can see i i have um already at the last time last point where we stopped in the last video that is uh, regarding this little selection drop down menu so obviously what i'm going to do is this time remove everything including even container and i guess i'm gonna remove this one line too so for the sidebar uh, just be sure to note that sidebar is just a type of menu now you know I talked about the menus in the previous chapter maybe in the part 5 or 6 and basically the menus are the ones that are at the top of your page or you know maybe even they may be in the bottom of the page and they are sort of representing what exactly your content is all about now you can go ahead and create that same type kind of menu like if, if you go literally on the semantic UI website and you click on this little menu button you can see that this is a little sidebar that is popping out up there and you can go ahead and achieve this kind of effect with the help of semantic UI now obviously this thing is known as sidebar now if you want any of the information about it you can go ahead and go to the sidebar section right in here but I guess you know this video will be kind of doing it for you and you know let's just go ahead and dive right into the code so I'm gonna save this page and I'm gonna refresh it just so that you know there's nothing in here now the very first thing that I want is a div with UI sidebar oops <laughs> I guess that I spelled it way too wrong uh, sidebar now the sidebar as I said in the starting of this video sidebar is just a type of menu so obviously you need the menu class in here and there we go that's our sidebar now where exactly do we want this sidebar to be we can go ahead and be sure that this sidebar will be stuck on the left side on the right side on the top side or on the bottom side so obviously you can go ahead and create any kind of that effect now if you want way more interactive uh, this is just a side note by the way you can go ahead and skip this little part if you want really the good looking sidebars then there's just one thing that is timpanis code drops uh, sidebar I guess I guess that's that's exactly it so when you go ahead and navigate to this page you know you can see these all kind of side sidebars that are having some sort of effects on it if you want really advanced effects about these sidebars you can go ahead and check them out because uh, you know they are really 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 great and obviously you cannot achieve the same effect with the help of semantic UI so easily obviously you can achieve that effect you can simply just go back to the code drops article and you know check out the JavaScript and CSS that they have put down over there and you can go ahead and copy and paste that kind of thing but but I guess it will be a really uh, really weird stuff for you and you know when I looked at it I was like I was just mind blown and you know I was not even able to create that kind of that same type of effect in my own project so you know even after copying all of their code it was just uh, so much mess for me until and unless you know a good amount of JavaScript now I can go ahead and create that kind of effects way more easily because I have a good level of understanding of CSS and JavaScript now than what I had back then when I was just a noob and I was thinking that yo I'm gonna create a website right now so just don't do that just go ahead and learn everything first and then go get over it so you know just let's just keep that off topic so I want this to be on the left side I can even make it on the top side but I want that there should be another menu on the top side which will have just like in the semantic UI's website you know this little is the top menu this is the fixed top menu obviously and you know as soon as you click on here you get this little pop-up boom I want this kind of effect so how exactly to add you is not in this way so obviously you know you can go ahead and put it like that or else you can go ahead and make this menu inverted you can go ahead and 
do whatever you want with it so i'm just gonna go ahead with the inverted menu which is on the left side and it will be a sidebar so the next thing that we want to do is just like the menus we are going to be throwing in items in here now obviously everything that you can do with the menu you can do in here now i let's just say you want icon based menu so you can say icon menu you want a vertical icon menu so you can go ahead and do that thing too you know there are so many possibilities with the help of it i'm gonna leave it as an assignment for you because you know even you should do a little bit of work so that you know you get a little bit of brainstorming and you get a little bit of work to do with it so obviously i'm gonna leave that leave it like that I, i'll not be explaining what exactly that is but obviously you can go to the semantic ui's documentation if you get stuck or you can go ahead and comment down in the section uh, in the comment down section uh, i messed up that pretty badly comment down in the comment section below um yeah that's right so comment down there and i'll be i'll be sharing it to you guys what exactly that particular thing is so moving up next in the inverted menu let's just say i want the first item to be uh let's just say class i'm gonna put that down five times um monday tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Obviously, these are all the working days. Uh, oops. I guess I'm gonna do it two more times just so that you know I get entire week. So Saturday and this is Sunday, and there we go so that's exactly what we want so as soon as the menu pops up i want these all things now obviously if you go ahead and run down this thing nothing really comes in because semantic ui detects that it is a sidebar and it automatically goes ahead and uh you know fixes that as uh, fixes that for us uh so if i go ahead and refresh the page now you can see that it just goes ahead and stacks at uh, the top side as a menu obviously the menu doesn't have the effect whether you are putting it the left or right uh I, it has the effect of the inverted though so obviously it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna put in sidebar in here so that you know the menu gets disappeared so left for menu and i'm gonna go ahead and put down here dollar dot ui dot sidebar and i'm gonna toggle it but obviously i don't really want that it should be just toggleable i want some content in here so there are two more things that you're gonna be needing now the first thing is the ui container which will be inside our pusher tag now let's just go ahead and say ui pusher i guess there's no need of ui though uh, so i can go ahead and put down their pusher and i can go ahead and put in some lorem ipsum text and obviously i want that entire pusher should be pushed around so that you know this all content gets pushed along with it uh, now, if you are not knowing what exactly I'm talking about, like I shown you in the Timpanus page, in the Code Drops page, as soon as I used to click on that particular thing, the menu used to pop out and the screen used to go back. And you know, basically, what was happening was the menu used to come in, and this pusher thingy was getting pushed back. So I want that sort of effect. So that's why I use pusher. Now, obviously, there are two different types of pushers: just a normal pusher or a dimmed pusher. Just in case you wanna dim the page when you're the pusher content is uh, you know the sidebar pushes up so if you want to dim you can go ahead and do it with the help of that so let's just go ahead and see what exactly happens now you can see it is not exactly centered that's because i i didn't really add the, uh, the some things like you know the dot ui dot container i can obviously go ahead and do that right in here and uh there we go oops i forgot this is just one line okay 
uh, now you can see that it is completely inside the container so what we want next is that the menu button that I talked about a little bit earlier so what we're gonna be doing for that is dot UI dot menu obviously um, I guess I'm gonna put a basic menu in here and I'm gonna put in a few items and this one will be anchor um not really anchor but uh let's just go ahead and keep it as a do and i want its name to be equal to uh, no not name obviously i'm sorry id is equals to now i want this id because i just want to toggle it as soon as the user clicks on it so id is equals to toggle i guess uh, that will do it for this video but in the real life you want to use something like menu toggle or the particular sidebar toggle because you can have multiple types of sidebars in just one little page in there so dot ui dot uh, no just toggle and i want that there should be a icon in here oops i'm sorry icon in here for sidebar uh icon and I want that there should be one more thing that is a menu yeah I guess basic icon menu all right so what I really want in here is that as soon as the user clicks on that menu button it should pop it out so what I'm going to do for that is just use a little bit of jQuery hash uh, you just select the div with the ID of toggle and as soon as the user clicks on it toggle in a function and that function is nothing but this and I'm gonna close it down here just so that making things a bit clear and there we go that's our complete functions i'm gonna uh, just go ahead and put down a semicolon because that's a good practice always um maybe not in jquery i haven't been following jquery i just follow javascript so obviously i'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page now you can see that uh as soon as i click okay nothing really happens i guess i am gonna change it to anchor um now okay looks like something i'm missing around okay my bad guys i i guess i i didn't really see what i had put down in here because i just said ui sidebar toggle and you know that's where it get, when things get a little bit messy because i just went in the flow and i thought that i put down here sidebar so obviously i'm gonna change this to this sidebar and inside in here i'm gonna put in the behavior that is toggle let's just go ahead and refresh the page and as soon as i click on menu you can see it is bumping that in but it is sort of messy still it is way too much messy all right so the thing is i didn't put down vertical in here okay vertically left menu i guess that should do it uh, yeah that does it for us i guess yeah so you know let's just go ahead and make this little quick top fixed menu just so that the menu doesn't get overflown with the it so yeah there we go that's exactly the effect that we were looking for and you know whatever the content is in here it will be shown in here okay why the hell the content is not showing? i guess there are so many bugs in this little program right over here um i guess i put down the i tag closed and ui basic icon icon top fixed menu well you know the things actually seem to work but except for this little thing maybe i'm gonna remove this little thingy right over here and i'm gonna see it whether it exactly works no not yet so i guess i'm gonna remove this pusher and see what exactly goes it li it goes like oh oh i'm i'm really sorry guys i'm really sorry i i'm i'm really sorry you know the content gets uh, hidden behind this menu so what exactly i have to do in here is um i'm gonna put down a style tag in here obviously you want this in your css style sheet so that the content automatically goes down so i guess that's a little bug with the top fixed menu in here so what i'm gonna be doing is uh, 
dot ui dot container now dot pusher i want that it should have the uh width no 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 the margin on the top of like a hundred pixels i i know that's uh, quite a lot but i'm just gonna give it a hundred pixels now you see the content is in there the content was hidden right behind that menu maybe it's a bug in semantic ui i do find it quite a lot of times but uh, you know sometimes forget about it so obviously now the content looks uh, pretty shitty yet so you know I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna guessing that I'm guessing that UI container is not messing it up. As a programmer, you should have the proper amount of problem solving because you know not just problem solving but all of these things. Okay, so the thing is, it is just messing around these things. So I'm gonna put down here 25 and see how does that go now. 50 okay so obviously it is just missing around that little part it's a little bug in semantic UI I don't really care about it that much because I do use just some specific parts of semantic UI and not all of the components in here so you know I guess I'm just gonna wrap up that video right over there and you know what that little bug is about you know I just put that style tag in here with the margin top and you know I guess there's one more option except for margin top you can go ahead and put that down in there um, uh, what is it said padding on the top side so padding on the top I guess 100 pixels and I'm gonna see it whether it works yeah it works exactly so instead of margin if you put padding in there you know you can go ahead and achieve the same effect in there uh, so obviously that is going to be it for today's video guys uh, I guess you know I haven't been uploading these videos for quite a while now um, I've been uploading these videos but you know I have been on the irregular upload schedule so sorry uh, really sorry for that uh, thing and the next series that will be coming out is like about ECMAScript script and even the uh, there's one more thing that I want to talk about that is Aurelia.io now if you don't know it's a quite good framework in there uh, so obviously just go ahead and check that framework out uh, because that framework is quite interesting to look at because you know I have been using it for quite a while even though I haven't really found a solution about how to integrate it with the help of with Laravel not with the help of but with Laravel how to integrate it because they don't both don't seem to work perfectly I'm I have been working on that for quite a while now. so but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video just slap that like button if you enjoyed this video and peace out